Today, I'm bringing you guys the top five weapons currently in Apex Legends Mobile with the brand new season to update with the new map. There's been a lot of balance changes within the games and weapon statistics, as well as just the general layout and feel of the map has caused some weapons to become more valuable and useful in your gameplay. And so that's why today I'm going to be giving you guys my personal opinion on the top five weapons in the game. Now, starting off with some honorable mentions, these necessarily don't make the top five list but i do think it's worth noting that the g7 and the 3030 i think are much more usable and practical in the new map you're gonna hear me talk about it a lot in this video but king's canyon is a pretty wide open map where world's edge was very building and close quarters combat focus world edge takes kind of the opposite approach where there's huge landscapes to fight on and these weapons seem to have some sort of back end soft buff to them where maybe it was their aim assist buffed or their sights something about about it they just seem much easier to use and to land shots on and so picking one of these weapons up early game to use as a primary isn't such a bad idea anymore but definitely don't be caught rocking a g7 or 30 30 late game as semi-automatic weapons are really hard to win in close quarters fights with also i gotta give a shout out to the spitfire it's no longer in the care package anymore which means you'll be able to find it in ground loot crates and while this does have a huge magazine making it easier to use as a beginner player the damage per second just really isn't there on this one. So it's great for mid-range fights and maybe some longer range stuff, but anything close range, you're really not gonna wanna be using the Spitfire for. And so it's an honorable mention, it's a good solid weapon, but there's definitely some weapons that easily will outgun it. And speaking of those weapons, let's head into the top five. But really quickly guys, we are incredibly close to 1 million subscribers. I know a lot of you guys watching this video aren't subscribed, so if that's one of you, it'd mean the world to me if you click the sub button, it's free and take just a few seconds now coming in at the sixth place spot and i know i just said to top five i'm placing the peacekeeper here at number six because honestly depending on your skill with shotguns this weapon could be coming in at your number one spot but honestly i am terrible with the peacekeeper i'm trying to get better with shotguns but there are a ton of pro players out there who are just absolutely insane with the peacekeeper if you don't miss shots with it then this weapon is easily a top five but if you just aren't good with shotguns you struggle to hit your shots just like i do then personally it's not even a top five weapon and so seemingly with the sort of buff it received going into season two the peacekeeper is the go-to shotgun over the mastiff and the mozambique but depending on your skill it might be something you should leave on the ground or give to one of your teammates who are insane with shotguns but personally it's only something i'm gonna pick up this season if i'm able to get better with it now coming in at the number five spot we have the longbow and the sentinel now like i said earlier the king's canyon map has a very spread out and wide open open layout which really lends its hand to long range weapons like the longbow and sentinel i know there's the triple take energy rifle but that thing just kind of sucks and so if you guys are looking for a sniper to rock on this map get the longbow get the sentinel put a 6x sight on it or a 4 to 8x sight and you just can't go wrong these snipers are great for farming evo at long range meaning if you're just landing a few shots here and there you'll be upgrading your evos which means you get more shield for your game and for competitive play while people are rotating it's great if you can land some shots to keep enemies from pushing your location but if people do decide to push you after you landed some shots you'll already have the upper hand and your engagement and so having at least one sniper on a team is going to give you a big advantage in this king canyons map now coming at the number four spot we have the volt smg the newly removed from the care pack as smg just like the spitfire and even with the nerfs that it received this thing is still an absolute monster while it doesn't have the fire rate of the comparable r99 that just means that it's much easier to use and personally i found myself using the volt smg at mid range to so sometimes mid long range so it's great at close range it's great at mid range which makes this a very versatile smg to be rocking in your arsenal with the fact that it's also pretty easy to use the only downside is that energy ammo still seems to be a little bit hard to come by so just make sure if you are using the vault that you have enough ammo for whatever fight you may get into coming into number three we have the r99 now last season this might have been the number two or the number one spot but once again due to how the landscape of the map has changed and how the fights are playing out this season the r99 is a great secondary 
legendary weapon to have on hand as statistically it has the highest damage per second rating of any weapon in the game coming in at over 200 dps if you can land all of your shots however that's going to be really difficult because the fire rate is just absolutely insane on this making it challenging to land any mid to long range shots which limits this to a close range only weapon but still the damage per second just can't be ignored with the r99 and that's why it's coming in at the number three spot but coming in at the number two spot we have the flatline believe it or not the flatline it's really good this season last season it was a good weapon but if i would ever find an r301 on the ground nine times out of ten i would be picking up the r301 over the flatline but now if i have a lot of attachments on a flatline and i find an r301 on the ground there's a good chance i'm going to keep the flatline as similarly to the r301 it's really easy to control at mid and long ranges now it seems like there was some sort of similar to the g7 and the 3030 it seems like there's some sort of soft buff where it became easier to control maybe they adjusted the aim assist with it not really sure but it seems like a lot of people in the community have the same sentiment that the flatline is now a really great primary to be rocking as your assault rifle and also it just does a ton of damage with that heavy ammo that it has doing 36 damage for a headshot which is pretty insane and that's why it comes in at the number two spot but you guys know what weapon is coming in at the number one spot the r301 two seasons in a row this bad boy surprisingly didn't receive any nerves uh it was an absolutely dominating force in the first season and similarly with the mid to long range nature of the king's canyon map it still excels it's super easy to control the light ammo is abundant and with all of the attachments you could throw on it, it becomes an absolute laser beam with any sort of barrel and stock you throw on it. Also, I would say, in my opinion, the R301 beats out the flatline just a little bit at close quarters combat. So at close, medium, and long range, the R301 is just an unstoppable force, which is why if you find it at pretty much any point in the game and you don't already have an upgraded flatline, you should really pick up the R301 as it just is not gonna do you wrong. So that's my top five for apex legends mobile season two we'll see what happens for season three regarding balance changes and what map we're on but ultimately any weapon on this list should serve you well it should help you get some of those dubs in apex legends mobile so with all this knowledge go out there get some of those dubs and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace